keep your distance. Throw the jab. Everything under control. Overhand timing. Coming for the champ. Ain't put the timing, but then I already crossed with a line. Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner boxing 24. Good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing this evening? Hope everybody doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good on this side as always. God is great, God is good, and I definitely can't complain. So I just wanted to talk about a few things pertaining to the fight last Saturday and clear some things up. Congratulations to Ryan Garcia on his spectacular win over Devin Haney. Good fight. They had a strategy, they had a plan, and they came to do what they had to do. I can't take anything away from Ryan Garcia as far as what he did in the ring. Now, what he did outside of the ring and before the fight, the antics and everything, and even at the weigh-in, I can talk about that, and I will talk about that. Again, he won the fight. But did he get an advantage? In winning the fight, I think he did. Because if that was the case, there's weight limits for a reason. There's 130, there's 135, there's 140. You have to weigh in at that mark, 140, 135, or 130, or below, not above. Once you come in above, then there's a reason you can't fight for that belt. If, a, if, if it's for a belt, you can't fight for that championship because you came in over the limit, right? So there's a reason to come in at the weight. Also, because it gives both fighters even. They're fighting on an even playing field. Equality is the word. They're fighting both on an equal level, okay? So those are the reasons, man, why they fight at the weight limit. And that's it. Once you come in over, it could be all bets is off. So when I say that don't believe what I'm saying, even, even after what I just said, after how I explained it, very simple, why do you think that Tank and his team did a catch weight with Ryan Garcia at 136 and then said the day of the fight, that Saturday, he couldn't rehydrate more than 10 pounds? There was a reason for that. So, so there was a reasoning for that, why they did that. And there was a reason why Ryan Garcia came in over the weight limit. Because he said himself in a tweet, I'm not going to win at 140 and be weak. Well, what do you mean? You're not going to be weak. So if that's the case, why are you fighting at 140? If it's making you weak, fight at 147. Fight at 154. What are you doing fighting at 135 and 140 if it's making you weak? See, that opens up a whole lot of other things. This ain't taken away from the win. This is just the facts. This is just what happened. If we're fighting on an even playing field, then I weigh 140, you weigh 140. That's just how it goes. Is it you? Is it someone on your team? What's the thought behind it? He's a bigger fighter. He's a bigger fighter and he's only growing. Why would I fight somebody that's already... He come, you see how he was coming from like 170s. 180. Why would, I, why would I try to, I mean, uh, not have a uh, uh, rehydration uh, clause in that so you can go back up to 150, 160 around the uh, time we fight? No, I'm not dumb. People want you to be a dumb, dumbass. So he was, so he had to pay, he made a bet with Devin Haney about coming in over. It was 3.2. So he had to pay Devin Haney 1.5 million because of that, right? So again, this is boxing, man. This is not a game. People live their lives in the rings. So some, of, so, so some of us, we get a little emotional, some of the fans, some of the people, and you respond in a certain way. I'm not, I'm not a hater of Ryan Garcia. I thought he had a good shot against Tank, even with all that happening. But I know that he did some, he made some mistakes in that fight that cost him the fight. And one of the mistakes was he kept telegraphing the left hook, but Tank was ready for it. See, that's the big difference. Tank was ready for it. Devin Haney wasn't for some reason. I don't know what they practiced or didn't, but he wasn't ready for that hook because he kept getting caught with it. And the same way Tank measured Brian Garcia as a smaller man, and he measured him and kept his hand out there and measured him and set his shots up, Brian Garcia did the same thing 
to Devin Haney. He measured him with the same left hand and then caught him with the hook real quick. Check him, the check hook, right? It was the same kind of fight, just on opposite ends. So it's like Ryan Garcia learned from his fight with Tank, but Devin Haney didn't learn from the fight that Ryan Garcia had with Tank. You see? That's why they say stars make fights. And you got to be tuned in. You got to know exactly what you're doing. So again, I just made this video to say, right? I just wanted to say again, there's no hate here on Ryan Garcia. I have my favorite fighters. He's not one of my favorites, but he's a good fighter. And again, I gave him a shot against Tank. So there's no hate here. He got the win. But he played a game. He acted like he was crazy. He really wasn't. And when it comes to the weight, he should have came in at the weight limit, 140. That's just the bottom line. Otherwise, don't fight at that weight. If you can't even make 140 or don't want to put in the effort, then I mean just fight at 147. But, of course, he wouldn't last at 147, so he's not going to do that. So it's not about advantages or disadvantages. It's about fighting fear on a, an even playing field. And that's what that fight was supposed to be, and that's what it wasn't. So skill-wise, the weight had nothing to do with it. But when it comes to holding and grabbing and pushing and weighing down on a, the next fighter, the smaller fighter, because he was way bigger than Devin Haney, and you could see that. He was way bigger. That does play a part. And that does have effect. And that's what we saw in that fight. And again, I'm just speaking on it. So Devin Haney lost. Ryan Garcia won. But there was an advantage with that weight, in my opinion. And in other people's opinion. It's not just me in this corner boxing 24. Other people feel that way as well. Now, there's some that disagree. And it's okay to disagree. That comes with the territory. But I'm still going to speak my truth. I'm still going to speak what I believe. And I don't have to hate on anybody. And we don't have to hate on anybody because we believe differently or we saw something differently. It is what it is. Hopefully, Devin Haney will get the rematch and he'll show something different. And if not, they got to move on in different directions. And we'll see what happens next for Devin Haney. We'll see what happens next for Ryan Garcia. Peace and blessings, y'all. In this corner, Boxing 20. All right. Keep your distance. Throw the jab. Everything under control. Overhand.